I had an injury to my elbow. I had tennis elbow and it probably started about three years ago. Um, went to the doctor and then referred me to an orthopedic and um, was just told that I probably had tennis elbow and the treatment would be a cortisone shot. So I had a cortisone shot, which was not comfortable and um, really did not see any improvement at all. I was a PE teacher, elementary PE teacher, and I got to where I couldn't throw the ball. Um, I could not do push-ups, um, lots of things. And so I just kind of battled it through the first year and then went back again. And he said, okay, we're gonna do another cortisone shot. And then he said, your next step is gonna be surgery. I'm a coach's wife, couldn't even shake my shaker, had a hard time gripping things, not being able to pick up a cup or reach into the dryer, things that I would never thought would bother me. And um, anyway, my son was talking to a um, good friend of ours and he was telling us about another procedure that was not near as invasive and I wouldn't have to be out and I would have to have my hand in a sling and all that. So that's kind of what, what we did. and came to Dr. Stevens and he explained the procedure and um, I'm very, very thankful that I did it. Well, I'm honored to be able to come here today and talk about the story of a good friend and patient of mine, Sally Wasson. So what we're really doing with this is we're going into the tendon that's damaged itself and we're taking a supersonic wave of, of water. We're actually using water as our cutting device. What it's doing is it's micro-traumatizing the tendon, which allows blood flow to increase to the tendon, which allows healing. To do this in the office and or in the OR, you need a console like this that uh, connects to a, a big bag of uh, 100 or 1,000 milliliters of saline that drives through the machine to the supersonic wave at the end of the probe. So you need to have the device that comes in a kit you need to have the console, and then the third component, of course, and really important is an ultrasound. This is a picture of Sally's right, the, the bright white on the middle left screen is the radial head of her uh, arm. The tendon tissue is the structure that you can see that's white all around it that looks kind of striated and linear. And so when we first started with Sally, she had big black hole areas all around her tendon. And that gave me the indication of where to go and do the procedure itself. So when I did the procedure, I held the ultrasound machine just like this, and I grabbed, obviously we're in the OR setting doing this, I make a small puncture in the skin and drive the tinjet right into the tendon itself and just work my way in and out of the tissue, first just going back and forth and then working my way into kind of a pizza pie type shape. And back and forth, back and forth, and I do that for three minutes. And after about three minutes, I think the picture is satisfactory, remove the tin jet and put a stereo strip over the incision, and that's the extent of it. It's a very simple procedure. Yeah, no scar <laughs> That's great, yeah, you can't even see where I did it, can you? Yeah. You can see right here is the radial head, and all this was a big black hole in uh, Sally's tendon. Do you remember Sally? Mm -hmm. How that was all black? Yes. Now this is a little bit off the plane of the, of the ultrasound, but you can see all this area has filled in and has linear little striations through it. That's all healthier looking tendon tissue. So it's a very simple procedure that only takes a few minutes. The recovery is very quick and the results have been pretty dramatic. And in Sally's case, you know, it's, it's essentially changed her life back to where she was the active grandmother, coach's wife. And this is a really cool time of year for Sally because they're in the playoff race at one of the top schools in the nation. When I came out of surgery, um, you know, I was like, okay. And then started physical therapy and like in five days, I could do pretty much anything. They would not allow me to do, you know, push-ups or lift weights, but um, yeah, I was real surprised. Able to pick up my grandbabies, able to shake my shaker, able to do things that I used to do as a, a fit PE teacher. Now that I'm retired, it's like, ooh. I don't want to not be fit. What's neat about this procedure is for years we had no great answer to the chronic tendon problem. So people would come in and they'd say, you know, my little Johnny or little Susie or, you know, Grandma Sue can't do what they want to do because their elbow hurts or their knee hurts or whatever else. And the answer was always take some anti-inflammatories, use some ice, rest it, and then maybe six weeks or eight weeks from now everything will be better. And so when the process came along that was this simple, that we could treat people's tendons directly. I was super excited and got involved. So 
this device is actually very applicable to several different uh, locations of the body, which is what makes it great because not everybody gets to choose which tendon they injured, right? So uh, plantar fasciitis is a common problem seen in runners and other people and a very frustrating injury. My wife dealt with it, like I said, she's a you know mini marathon athlete and it really sidelined her for a while. And so being able to treat the plantar fascia with a, a simple procedure has been very rewarding. Achilles tendinosis is a chronic problem that a lot of people have, very painful. Every time they dorsiflex their foot by bringing their toes up to the sky, it aggravates their pain and walking, running are all problematic. Uh, I've had the pl pleasure of doing some of the football players' patellar tendons. When you have a partial patellar tendon tear, the answer used to be open up and debride the tendon and, and repair. And I've had a couple of those that have done very, very well. Um, another very exciting thing for me is the greater trochanteric bursa because for years we've had steroid shots and platelet-rich plasma shots and things we could do, but now with the debridements, we're getting great results. In fact, just this morning, I saw a family member of a 92-year-old guy who is still a working member of society who was kind of dragging his leg around because his hip was so sore. And I took him to the OR initially and did some injections with some of the other products on the market, and he got some improvement, maybe 50% better. And we decided the next time we went in that we would do a percutaneous tenotomy of his gluteus tendons. And his daughter told me today that he's almost 100% better and he's walking normal. And she's like, now the 92 year old's out of control. Well, that, that's a good problem for the family to have. We also do this obviously for the tennis elbow like we talked about, but the shoulder is also an indication. A lot of patients have chronic shoulder pain because they get uh, calcific uh, tendons in their shoulder. Maybe they don't have a rotator cuff tear, but they get a tendinopathy that involves calcium deposits. And we can actually go in and I've proven in a lab model that we can debride the tendon with this water jet as well. So the supersonic water jet really is supersonic. It's broken up some little calcium uh, nodules and it does break up the tendon tissue. It's preferential to the damaged tissue and it doesn't do anything to the, the very healthy tendon tissue. So it's very scientific, um, really uh, you know, just a great model of a way to treat things minimally invasive. And let's face it, that's where everything is going in medicine is less invasive, shorter time recovery. And, and better return to full activity.